This is Raptor News. Ephesians 5.11 have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. So people come to this page of mine, this page, and says, why are you wasting your time exposing people like you to Yasharel when we can be edifying each other in the scripture? Well, this is the scripture. We are supposed to lift up our voice and spare not and show Israel the wrong that they are doing. That is what the scriptures is saying for us teachers, preachers to do. And so that's what I'm doing. We are edifying Israel. Everything don't have to be lovely for you. This is an ugly war that we are in with these damn devils. There are two species. That's Genesis 3 telling you that it's the Satan seed that comes through Eve and man seed that comes through Eve. And these two are, 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 in, are enemies to each other. Enmity between them two, says God. And then they are constantly, says the rest of the scriptures, at war. The flesh is at war with the spirit. It ain't so much the spirit is trying to make war on the flesh. The flesh has the problem with the spirit. And they always at war constantly from the beginning of the time to the end of time. And so what is God telling us to do with these fleshly creatures, the wolves in sheep clothing? They look human. They mimic human, but they don't have hearts. They love not their brother. So again, um, he puts out a video called How to Identify Lucifer. Look in the mirror. That's how you identify him. And so he, he takes no accountability for how he treat people. The reason why I got in on this guy's case in the first place, he's saying it's about tithing because he a demon, he a liar. And then in the last video that I put up out about him, he told at least seven lies straight and contradicted itself in every one. And that's why I exposed them, because if you can tell seven little lies and lie about those lies that you lied about, what happens if he entrusted with something big? What happens if the police and the FBI get in on it? What happens if you go into jail for life? He's going to lie and get you put in there. If your life depended on him, you dying because he a liar. Anybody who lie big in little things will lie big in big things. They'll lie bigger the snake and so how to identify Lucifer I get attacked I get exposed because you're supposed to be exposed according to the scriptures but look how he playing a game with it arrogant and haughty I appreciate that expose me I will say it again snake that's what I'm out here for to be exposed and you will get exposed and you have been exposed and you plan yourself at damn near 77. How foolish can you be? There's nothing worse than an old fool. Anybody listening to somebody who can lie straight seven times in one damn sitting need to go down the hill with him when he go. All, li all liars shall be in the lake of fire that burneth with brimstone and sulfur. 1 John 3.10, in this the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil, whosoever does not righteousness, and righteousness is doing the will of the Most High God, righteousness is obeying the commandments, but righteousness is mostly on this earth, loving your kinsmen and your brethren like yourself, doing unto others what you want to be done back unto you understanding the balance system only putting out good so good can return back to you that is righteousness and then loving your brother he said of this the children of god are manifest and the children of the devil whoever does not righteousness is not a god he the, he of the devil neither he that loveth not his brother how is this dude look he lied and said that all of the money that he was going to get from donations was going to go to the people on the land. That's documented in the video. He also lied and said he was going to make a 15 by 30 
building, put a bathroom and a shower in there for the people on the land to house them. And he straight up lied. He took those that donation that donation money, and he and, and whatever else money he probably added to that, fifteen thousand damn dollars could have housed those people on the land in a nice building. Less than that, they they could have been in a nice building, but he used it for storage to sh to to put his material things in that. That is why he got that Corvette. Don't to pay him ten thousand five hundred and it's yours. Nobody ain't gonna buy that garbage. Nobody wants your garbage, you know. And so, you know, and anything else that you got. So, what is he saying? What What is the mentality of a person like that? He is saying my material thing is more important than God's chosen people. That's what he's saying loud and clear. If anybody got ears to hear. So again. Just to say, if your mother was on that land with him, and then it's a choice. He can put, he got $15,000 to spend putting your mother in a building with a with a bathroom and a shower in there, or $15,000 to take his stuff off of the land and put it in and house his own material gain. He's saying his material gain is more important than your mama. 1 John three fourteen. we know that we have passed from death into life because we love our brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. So this dude is in darkness and death. And he is of the devil because he loveth not his brother. And I'm not going to get into this thing where I start talking about any individual. Just calling anybody names. And then he goes right into talking about me and everybody on his land and all of Israel. And then wrap the news. Ain't it funny how he do one video talking all this good stuff about me. And then when you do evil, I'm going to talk evil about you because you're doing evil. You switched up. People who believe in God, it says, don't abide in sin. Here you are, 77 damn years old or, or close to it. And you still don't know right from wrong. Somebody like me have to tell you and I'm younger than you. And everybody on your land is younger than you. And they have to educate your old ass. And then come right behind it. Another video talking all this bad stuff. And the bad stuff is what? The truth or what he doing? Tell me somewhere where I'm just really talking about him. Like I'm just saying evil things about him. Or am I not just showing you? He, he's a liar, a pathological, habitual liar that treats his brethren unkind. If that's bad stuff, then you saying what you are. He goes and lies again. He's talking about the scriptures. So he's trying to prove me wrong in the scriptures. He's saying my thing with him was about the tithing. I could give a F about the damn tithing. I didn't care about that. I let that go. I only brought it back up because I noticed a pattern with him doing this, attacking us. And when I saw that he was attacking Israel, I know exactly who he is. He's a parasite. You know, I know exactly what he is. And so basically all he's doing is vampirism, sucking the blood out of Israel. And nobody should go for this no more. If a dude lies seven times in one sitting... There's nothing worse than a damn liar because a liar is the damn devil. And everybody who believes the lie, you sitting there following this uh, demon and make it the lie shall be in the lake of fire that burns with sulfur and brimstones. That's where you're going to be along with this pathological liar. Every time he opens his mouth, he lies. And so he's saying that tithing is not a 10% of your income. The book, I'm, I'm going to just lay it straight to everybody. Tithing is everything that the earth produces. It can be steel. It can be milk. It can be apples. It can be leaves. It, it, whatever your wealth is, it got to be something that, that's important to you, like wealth, a means of livelihood for you. So um, that is what you give. It, it, it don't have to be money, but who going to take in today's society Fruits and vegetables to the altar and get out to the priest. And now he got a bunch of fruit that's finna rotten in two minutes. 
and how he going to pay the bills and everything else with fruits and vegetables. This is a brain dead individual leading people astray. He should not be teaching. Tithing is strictly food. It is food. It is not 10% of your income. Now look at the look what the book says. Luke 18:12 showing you the scriptures again, not talking on my ass like him. ISV version. I fast twice a week and I give a tenth of my entire income. So we know exactly what the book says. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, it is a tenth given to the priest of your entire income. And anybody who listened to that, all of the people gave the money down to the priest and the priest gives the tenth. And that's how Israel gets its blessings. But everybody in Israel has to give. And then everybody in Israel receives. That's how it works. Holding all your money in the bank and stuff like that, you are going to go to hell. The camel, it says, will pass through the eye of a needle for a rich man enter into the kingdom. And then he goes and lies again and says this. That I have, I'm trying to use it for the people that are here. So he said all the money that he have, he's trying to use it for the people that's on his land. Just like he was trying to buy, build a 15 by 30 building to house them. It never gets done. The only thing gets done is his material gain gets higher and higher. Uh, those that, that came out here with me, I feel a responsibility to them. Not one time in any video I ever did did I tell anybody I would support them. He just said that, that he would support them, and he, and he feels a liability to these people on his land to support them with the money that he got. But now he contradicting himself because he is the devil. He's a pathological liar and a habitual liar at that. This money that I have. Money does what? Support, right, people? Just like he don't know what tithing is, he don't know what support is all of a sudden. And he's 70 something I'm trying to use it for the people that are here. So he said he was going to use the money for the people that are there. Then why is he buying sheds? Why is he buying concrete? Why is he buying a chicken coop? He housed some chickens, people. <laughs> My God. And y'all ain't waking up to this. Y'all must be Nephilim too. If you can't see what this man is doing. He bought a fucking house for chickens. And his people is living in teepees like ancient Indians and stuff, man. Come on. Uh, those that, that came out here with me, I feel a responsibility to them. I exactly. So he's saying he wanted to support them with the money that he got. And then he contradicted himself, which is straight up just effing lying. Plan, we plan for us. Now he's talking about him and his wife because they didn't sidebar. They got all these feelings about everybody on the land. Things didn't go according to their wicked plans. And all of a sudden... Now they're going to cut and excommunicate all the people one by one. Make it hard for them to live on the land where they just leave one by one. And he don't have to evict them. And our provisions were based on us. Then he said he had the money and he was going to help the people on the land. Pathological damn liar. And then he's saying, I'm bashing him. How am I bashing you? This is the truth. This is your actions. Why don't you change your actions if you don't like them? If you think with, it's like somebody bashing me because I put out some videos about JC or some things, I ain't taking nothing back. And I'm standing behind what I say. Then he goes right here. Listen to it. Another lie. 30 feet by 15 feet. I'm going to install a shower. So if he said he's going to do something, he building for the people. He said the money that he had was for the people, didn't he? And now he's saying he's building the 15 by 30 and he's going to install a shower in there, didn't he? And a, uh, a bathroom. Uh, a shower in the bathroom. This is what he's promising the people. That's why his eyes crooked. He can't even look straight. So that uh, everybody can be ac accommodated. So he's doing this to accommodate the people, but then he just said he wasn't there to support the people. He there to support just him and his wife. Pathological, habitual, psychotic, sociopathic liar. 
we bought these buildings, had them put up, so we could store our stuff. Build a cabin myself so that uh, everybody can be ac accommodated. So we can store our stuff. Everybody can be ac accommodated. So we can store our stuff. And so what one out, people? It tells you who this dude is. What one out is his stuff over people? If you care about things more than you care about the lives of people, then you the KKK. You the, the cops shooting a black man in the back and choking them out dead on the street and then go pet your little dog and, and, and that's limping and shit at home and, and love that dog to death and feel sorry if, if a thorn touches them, Paul. But you can kill a black man. This is the world we living in, people, and it's ugly. Then he goes right here saying that he does all the work. He's a pathological liar. And so anybody who believes a lie that this dude is telling you, I wouldn't believe nothing that he says because he's lying. He's been talking about Lucifer and everything else and Satan. He says Satan is still in heaven with God. Wow. You know, he need to be shot. Freaking work. We have eight of these five-gallon gas cans. We keep them filled. We keep them filled. He didn't say I keep them filled. He said we keep them filled. But the pathological liar said he did all the work. We keep them filled. I'm doing all the freaking work. Uh, Thaddeus is washing right now. If he's doing all the work, then why is Thaddeus washing? So that's why I remembered the video. I went and found Thaddeus washing and then put it in there. So you will know that he's lying saying he's doing all the work. As we speak, I'm doing all the freaking work. RV is a little... A little dirty right now because we've been very busy. Who is we? That's the people on the land. It ain't just him and Thaddeus. I'm doing all the freaking work. But we're doing it. We're Who is we're? He talking about all the people on the land doing it. Getting it done. Everybody's working so hard. Who is everybody working so hard? Pathological liar. Then he goes right behind that and says he's doing all the work. What do we believe? You 70 something years old and you lying like this. He's the only one that would. He would try. And you said everybody was working so hard and you said now it's only one that's doing the work. But before that you said that you was doing all the damn work. Come on. If people lie this big and little things, how you gonna trust them with your salvation teaching you the right thing in the scriptures? You should not listen to him or support or help this dude after. You know the truth right here. Then he said the donations that he received was going to go to the people. You know, but it went to his store. A little over $5,000, but we got it. Thank he said it cost us. Thank you to the blessings of all those who contributed and do donated. Thank Thanks to the blessing of all those who contributed and donated. Us. That's who us is. Thanks to the blessings of all those who contributed and donated. We bought the storage shed. Shouldn't we say who's staying there and what's in there? What, what would the people say? If we the people right now was going to vote since we bought them damn storage sheds according to his pathological lying ass. When you say, and you should put it in the comments, we the people want them in the storage shed and put your shit out in the rain. Because that's what we, we the people care about people, not your things. You can take all that stuff like Jesus said and sell it and give it to the poor and to feed the poor. But no, you got stuff that you ain't even using, man. It's just going to go in there and rot. All those who can, can you say hoarder? Contributed and donated. And then he kicks everybody out on the land to sleep on the ground. Right? And then he's going to talk mess behind that watch. If it even played, because it didn't froze up, just like his face. You know, and I, you think I'm not sacrificing? I, my stuff is still out in the weather. Now the people out in the weather. Which one? Where? Where? where where's his loyalty lie, people? In his things, or the children of Israel? It's so much stuff that it's tiresome trying to get it all put away. But I just got them out. And I didn't like doing it, but I, I had to do it. I need to be able to use the building for what I bought it for. 
I need, I need. Ain't that selfish? I cannot make their problem. I, my concern that was their problem. We got what we need. We got what we need. We got what we need. So how y'all feel about that? But I'm going to try to help my wife get this stuff put away out here. But he was going to try to help the people first, huh? Now it's just him and his wife, huh? And finally get to use our buildings. So finally get to use our buildings. Me, my, 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 me, my, 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 my. For anybody that think I'm this greedy, selfish, uh, glutton. Exactly. He tells on us. He know himself, huh? Ain't that what he doing? Man, you got me all twisted. I am Yuta Yasharel, and I approve this message. Enough said, huh? So I'm going to say this again to people. The book tells you, you can believe God or you can burn. Anybody who believes a lie that this dude is telling, how are you going to preach scriptures to you and he lies in every setting? How are you going to preach scriptures to you and he said he would do something to, for the people and he ain't did shit for our people? He, he got the money, but he didn't do nothing in return but buy something for him. This is Raptor News.